see, oh. prospects are buying on value, not price. Salespeople think prospects are buying on price. So they're right away selling on price, price, price. And then I go, well, who's turning your product into a commodity? Me, the prospect? You're leading with price. So you're telling me I should buy on price. So if somebody else comes in the door and they're offering your same product for five cents less, you're telling me I should buy it from them. No, I didn't. You did, because you keep selling me price. I should, my motivation is price. Versus finding out what my desired outcome is. What do I want to accomplish? What would that do for me and my business? That's the difference. And, and that's what salespeople are not connecting with. And it's done in the product training, in the sales training. It's like solution, 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 product, product, product. This is the best thing, best thing, best thing. They get the salespeople so amped up on the own, their, their own solution, they got them almost brainwashed to think that everybody wants to buy it. And, oh, we're problem solvers. No, you're not. You're a problem finder. Find a problem. Then your solution sticks to it, and now you have value. And that's what they're missing. And when you put everything together into that equation, then it makes rational sense. So people buy it intellectually, and they justify it emotionally. And once they process that enough, they go, here's what that would do for my personal life. That's the emotional trigger that causes them to say yes. And that's what prospects go through. And if salespeople would sell on that, they'd sell more. Prospects would enjoy the experience more. And everybody would be happy. But instead, what do we got? We got it's almost like it's a 3-2 count. And it's like there's three balls and two strikes. And the pitcher's got the nerves. And the batter's got the nerves. And then everybody's on guard about what to do. Am I going to strike the guy out? Am I going to deliver four balls? Or is he going to hit it? There's so much anxiety with it that people get so nervous and guarded, nobody's having a serious conversation. And how are we supposed to build trust and rapport when we can't have a serious conversation? I mean, let's get real. Let's not go in assuming everybody needs the help or has a problem or wants to buy from us. It just simply is not true. I digress. <laughs>